Welcome back YouTube. As I promised, I was going to do an unboxing of the complete, um, I think it was Greek Tragedies? Yeah, the complete Greek Tragedies uh, from the Folio Society. So I just got it in the mail and um, I'm going to jump right into it. Then once I get this unboxed, we'll jump to my tabletop review and uh, we'll go through the individual volumes and see what we got here. So let's open this up. Like all Folio Society uh, boxes, it'll come with this little thing here. It says, uh, your books were pa uh, were packed by Camila. Happy reading. I'll just throw that aside there. Some wrapping paper. And then... Yep, so complete Greek tragedies. There. They all come with uh, this little pack here, just of information. You got... Uh, you got one of these here, you got a bookmark, you got your bestsellers little pamphlet here. Um, and then it comes in just this little, nice little pamphlet type book here. And uh, let's see here. Yeah. Let's grab that out, put that to the side here. Get rid of this box. Let's see. There we go, upside down. So, as you can see here, the complete Greek tragedies, it's sealed in here. So you got a five volume set here. Uh, you got Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides, Euripides and Euripides. Folio Society, and yep, there is some design on the side here. What's this here? It says, let's see my camera could clear up there. Proud sponsors of the Folio Prize. You got a plain back and the plain side here. And then of course plain top and bottom. Seems like it got in good condition here. Uh, didn't get any damage during shipping. But let's uh, jump to the tabletop review and we'll uh, look at the individual volumes. Welcome back. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do a tabletop review here. We're going to go through one volume at a time. Like uh, you saw in the previous part, there's five volumes. So let's uh, jump into volume number one here. As you can see, it's they're all the same color. They'll have slightly different designs on the front. Uh, it's bound in the orange buckram here. And it actually has some give to it, so it's actually a really nice feeling. Um, similar binds for Pliny's Natural History and Plutarch's Lives from Folio Society, those big sets. Now, with regards to this set here, I bought it because it was on sale for Folio's big set sale. I think that's a members only sale, I could be wrong. Um, the original price uh, was actually quite, well you know, it's a, it was a quite hefty price tag. Um, some people would think it's worth it, some people not. It all depends on uh, whether you actually read the plays uh, or not. But since it was on sale, I thought why not? So I thought I'd just pick it up. And I think I got it for 140, I think it was 140, plus the shipping and tax and such. So let's just jump right into this here. So as you can see here, Ashless, uh, the complete group tried one Ashless, and I, you saw this in uh, the previous part. And then plain back, they all have the plain back. Uh, like folio, there's no uh, the gold gilding or ribbon markers or anything like that. Um, let's jump in here, so you got the plain black and papers here which contrasts with the black on the orange and you'll I don't know if you can pick it up in the uh, camera but the pages uh, the paper color is not pure white it's a little bit off white like a creamy color and of course all of them are printed on acid free neutral paper so right here you got the table of contents and then you got a nice marble bust here on its own individual sheet of photo paper right and you'll see uh, the 
all the different uh, plays here and you can see that they're translated by all different um, all different authors here so let me just turn this around here and I'll tell you what's in this volume one here so uh, the Orestia, Agamemnon, the Suppliant Maidens, the Persians, Seven Against Thebes and Prometheus Bound you can look online or if you can zoom in here let me see if I can zoom in so you can probably see who the translators are hopefully the camera can pick up uh, clearly enough who the translators of the individual plays are um, let's jump into what else the book the individual volumes have and I believe there is artwork in here uh, what's nice is uh, the text is more academic style in terms of the margin numbers, which make it really easy uh, to reference and to when somebody references it to yourself, then you can quickly jump in and see where in the book that line is coming from since, of course, different books have different translators and such. So there'll be slightly different variations in wording and it's hard to find where you want to look. So the numbering will always bring you to the exact same line regardless of translation. So as you can see here, we got some beautiful artwork here. And it's actually on um, the artwork, you can actually feel it raised from the edges of the papers here. And it's slightly textured with a little bit of tooth on it which is really nice, feels like almost like a fresco on a piece of paper. Now let's see some other piece of artwork here. Very nice. Same texture on it. That's Agamemnon. Let's see if we can find another piece right here. Very nice, the Suppliant Maiden. Let's see, there should be more seven against Thebes very nice and one more there you go Prometheus bound and that's it and then the black marble and uh, the black and papers here so let's jump into the next volume this is Sophocles's so there's one volume for Sophocles, one volume for Aeschylus, and you can see slightly different design on the front. You saw the same, just Sophocles, volume two there, and then the plain back. All the same features. Let's just jump to the table of contents here. So you got a nice photo there, and then you got the Thebian plays Oedipus the King, Oedipus Aclonus, and Antigone, Ajax, the Woman of Trachis, Electra, um, Philoctetes, and that's it. And it shows you where they are in the text. Let's take a look at the artwork. Here we go. Uh, not as much as the first volume in terms of texture. This feels just like a photo. Let's see what the next one is. Yeah, this one has a little bit more. Let's eat a piece of cologne. Let's see this one here. Antigone. Ajax the Woman of Trachis Electra and I don't think there's any more there and the black marble then paper so that's volume two let me just put that aside here and let's grab volume three so this is the volume three, but the first volume of the three Euripides, right? Slightly different there. So let's look at what we got here. Another picture. And let's see what's in here. So Rhesus, the Trojan woman, Hecuba, uh, Andromache, Helen, and the Cyclops. 
Let's take a look at some of the artwork in here. I guess as I'm doing this, we might as well just have a little bit of a conversation. Um, in terms of the plays, I haven't read uh, much of the Greek, the Greco-Roman plays. Uh, you know, these ones are all just the Greek plays. But I've uh, really just stuck with uh, Sophocles and the Oedipus plays. I really like them. Um, I don't know why I chose those ones, but they're my favorite. Um, I do plan eventually on going through this. I don't see why not, now that I have them all. All in one place. Um, I would like to do that. Just sit down and go through them. I love plays. I love uh, Shakespeare, especially his histories. Okay, so let's see what's over here. So we got um, Ephignia, Aulus, Electra, Orestes, Ephignia, Taurus, Media, and um, Hippolytus. Let's look through for the artwork. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, as I was saying, um, just came to my mind, Coriolanus. I liked uh, the play. The play was actually really good. Uh, kind of a pain to read, but overall really good. I liked the themes of it. I love the, the Gerard Butler movie. And um, I watched the play from the... Um, I can't remember what, if it was the Royal Shakespeare Company from uh, London with Tom Hiddleston, who plays Loki in um, the Marvel movies. He played Coriolanus, which was really awesome. So that's my favorite of the Shakespeare plays. But I love Julius Caesar as well and Titus Andronicus. Let's go. And the final volume of Euripides and the final volume of the set. Here we go. Let's see what we've got in here. Aclestus, Ion, Heracles, uh, the Heraclidae, the Phoenician woman, the suppliant woman, and Bacchae. Illustration page, and let's go through. I just want to make everyone aware if uh, most of you know that I have the Leather Library blog. Uh, that's in the link below. But I've included a live chat widget. And uh, I'm usually on the site, so you'll see that I'm online. In the right sidebar, you can always, uh, if you want to ask any quick questions, of course, you can leave them in the comment section below or inbox me. But I'm always free for a live chat. So if you want to go on the blog, um, you can ask your quick questions and I'll be glad to talk to you. Or even if you want to have a conversation, I look forward to it. So that's it. That's the Complete Greek Tragedies by um, the Folio Society. I haven't seen anything else that I'm really looking uh, to get from the Folio Society right now. Of course, I have my Eastern Press Books uh, subscription coming in. So um, you'll see what's up next. I know what's coming in. So just keep an eye out on the channel and you'll... Um, You'll see a video up for that. Uh, also, I have a contest coming up soon for the blog. I can't remember exactly what the prize for that one's going to be. It's for 500 followers on my blog. And I'm a little behind in terms of the YouTube. Um, it hasn't kept up the speed that the blog has. But there will be a contest for 500 as well. 500 subscribers. Um, and I think I'm going to do something special for... Uh, 1,000 subscribers, something really nice. I haven't thought of what yet, but I will. Also, 
for you cigar lovers. I will be doing video cigar reviews this summer when the weather starts getting nicer. Up here in Canada, for some reason, we're getting some really bad weather right now for particularly no reason. I have to look up why. Um, but uh, just keep an eye on the channel. There are quite a few videos that are scheduled to go up. So by the time uh, you see this, I already had the books for a few weeks. I don't put my videos up right away. There's usually a delay in terms of uh, when I put them up. But don't forget to rate, to comment, and to subscribe. And as always, YouTube, keep on reading.